hello and good afternoon my name is sister temitayo and i'm here to share the open heavens daily devotional with you um for today sunday october the 11th and i'm sure you're already in church um receiving god's word and i pray that god's word will be a blessing to you today amen the bible says they go from strength to strength every one of them that appears before god in zion amen praise god um, I'm here to share the Open Heavens Daily Devotion, and I'm sure um, for those of you who are visiting my channel for the first time, the Daily Devotional is the Open Heavens Daily Devotional compiled by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. Um, Pastor Adeboye led me to Christ in October 1997 while I was in university in Lagos, Nigeria, West Africa. And um, at the beginning of this year, the Spirit of God began, you know, instructed me to begin to share the Open Heavens Daily Devotional. Um, I started the assignment in the month of June. Um, I shared in August and I'm sharing in October. Amen. Um, so that's why I'm sharing the Open Heavens and specifically on YouTube. Hallelujah. And for the first time, Pastor, I'm going to, one of the Redeemed Christian Church of God pastors, Pastor Justina, Amechi will be sharing this daily devotional with me today. Pastor Justina is the pastor, she and her husband, Pastor Kingsley, they pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Thornton Heath Pond and Croydon, in London. And um, so I'll just be reading the daily devotional and Pastor, pastor Justina will explain. Amen. So today is Sunday, October 11th, and the title of today's daily devotional is Be Wise, Win Souls. Amen. And... Um, what Pastor Adeboye does is he will give you a few verses of scripture to read and a memory verse. Amen. So Pastor just now will read the scriptures and I'll just read the memory verse and the body of the text. And so um, this is the reading. So Pastor Adeboye says that God wants us to be involved in soul, in winning of souls. That is why he did not take us to heaven immediately after we became born again. Like Christ, our aim should be to seek and to save that which is lost according to Luke 19.10. Pastor says that may God enable us to fulfill that heavenly mandate in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I say amen to that. Amen in Jesus' name. Pastor says that the world may regard great scholars, powerful rulers, and rich business tycoons as wise. However, Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived, says in today's memory verse that he who wins souls is wise. In Proverbs 11.30, which says that, and he that winneth souls is wise. If winning of souls is wisdom then the refusal to win souls is definitely foolishness. Foolishness. If as a preacher you don't win souls, you are in the category of the foolish. While well, you may never get to the pulpit, get on the pulpit, if your lifestyle makes a sinner accept Jesus, you are in the category of the wise. Everything we do must point people to Jesus. Amen. So pastor is saying that our lifestyle can actually make people accept Jesus Christ ask their lord and savior because they will see the jesus in us and want him so that's why we have to be very careful the kind of example that we set we must be example in word indeed hallelujah pastor says you may be an usher chorister or even a member of the prayer band you are not wise until you engage in the best occupation on earth to seek and to save that which is lost what is wisdom in soul winning question while every human achievement and reward will be left behind when we leave this world, souls are everlasting. They will live forever in eternity. There is no occupation more noble than plucking souls from the path to hell and transporting them safely to heaven. Soul winning glorifies God and guarantees us a great legacy. All of God's creation glorify him, but none more so than a new creature made in the image of Christ. It takes wisdom to win souls. So many things keep souls in so many things keep bondage uh, souls in the bondage of the devil. Pastor says pride, lust, the pleasures of this world, unbelief, and so on. It takes divine wisdom to be deliberate about leading others to Christ. And Pastor prays for us. He says, May we receive grace to be wise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, Pastor says that the world may regard great scholars powerful rulers and rich business tycoons as wise oh if they were not wise they won't be making so much money they won't be so intelligent however solomon the wisest man that ever lived says in today's memory verse that he who wins souls is wise you know solomon apart from our lord jesus christ who is the christ the bible says christ is the wisdom and the power of god so we can't even compare him because he's got the son you know so 
cannot be compared but apart in apart from jesus solomon was the wisest man that ever lived amen and the reflection is are you among the wise who win souls or the foolish who do not amen the memory verse is proverbs eleven thirty. the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life and he that winner souls is wise proverbs eleven thirty. so i would leave um pastor pastor, pastor justina will share would explain to this daily devotional so just hang on for pastor justina god bless you greetings my beloved brothers and sister my name is justina mechi i'm my husband as the pastor of RCC Defeat and Holiness Center in Tottenham Point, and I'm being invited there by Sister Tayo to give a brief review about Opo Heaven, which was written by Rada the GO Adeboe, titled 10th of October 2020. Be wise, win souls. And the topic, the text said, Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20, I read. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. That is the commandment that Jesus Christ has given to me and you as his disciple. For us to go out and win souls, bring sinners into God's kingdom. He said, go ye therefore, make, teach them, teach all nations. Start from your location, start from your environment. Wherever you find yourself, the gospel of Jesus Christ is our ultimate goal. To bring the sinners out of their dark world into the marvelous life. The reason why Jesus Christ came into the world, the reason why he saves you and me, is for us to do what to relate the gospel of Jesus Christ to as many that will come across in the journey in the in the journey of our life. And as Christians, our aim is to bring the lost souls into God's kingdom. And the word of God makes us to understand that if you win soul, you are wise. That is Proverbs chapter 11 verse 30, that any man that wins soul is wise. And God expects me and you to be wise, being his children, to be wise in winning souls to God's kingdom. Why should we be wise? Why should we win so? Remember, when you were in your dark world, when you were in your sinful world, me and you, somebody relayed the gospel of Jesus Christ to us, and he brought us to the marvelous light of Jesus Christ, which is through the salvation. That is why me and you today, we are enjoying the privilege, the blessings, and the salvation of Jesus Christ. What will it profit you if your brother or your sister, that you refuse to give salvation to, that you refuse to deliver the message of Jesus Christ, that you find them tomorrow, they are in air. It will pay you. For now, it's not yet over. The curtain has not been drawn. Why not deliver the gospel of Jesus Christ? Why not preach the gospel? The look, book of Luke 19, 19 verse 10 makes us to understand that the only reason why Jesus Christ came on this earth is to save the sinner. That is for you and for me. And he has saved us. It's, our, it's now our duty to save others. The advent of God, the advent of Jesus Christ is for us to bring souls to his kingdom, to bring men and women, to relate, to preach the gospel, to bring sinners into his kingdom. I believe as you and me as accept Jesus Christ as Lord and personal Savior, let's take the gospel out of our comfort zone, out of our Jerusalem, to go to Samaria, to go to wherever our feet can take us to, to win souls into God's kingdom. And I pray that as we challenge ourselves from our comfort zone to relate the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Almighty God will give you the enablement. He said in his word that he will be with us to the utmost part of the earth. As you go forth to deliver the gospel of Jesus Christ, I pray that God in return will bless you and your name will be written in the book of life because you are doing that which is the habit of God. Remain blessed.